Agra, the second stop on the Golden Triangle. With a population of 4.4 million and a very special area in India because it's home to the world famous Taj Mahal. If you haven't watched our previous videos, we took a second class train from Delhi to Agra. It took us 3 hours, we checked into our $15 hostel and now it's time to see what Agra has to offer. in the morning we got our online tickets we on our phone and we just scanned the QR codes at the gates which was very easy then we passed through a quick uh, security check they check your bags they check literally everything inside your bags they take away all of your snacks <laughs> and uh, that's about it now we're through wow we are currently just walking in the entrance oh nice better than the Doha airport Wow, this is already so amazing. Look at the green grounds. We're one of the first 10 people to enter the Taj Mahal. And then look behind me. Panic! Panic Get there now! What? The flip. some foot covers on now because the government's asked us to polish the floors a bit <laughs> just joking we're gonna keep it nice and clean and protected from all of the wear and tear that can happen from shoes <laughs> This is truly, truly a spectacular experience. This whole compound is insane. I didn't realize how big it was. The gardens are just perfect. The birds, the trees, and the building, of course. Uh, we couldn't film inside, but uh, the detailing inside was just gorgeous. You need to come here and see it for yourself. There is one thing, though, that really sucks, and I feel like big places like this always have one thing that really takes away from it and it's the dudes that come here and try and hackle you all the time they'll say yeah I'll show you the big best photo spots come do it here then they start taking photos for you and they're running around helping you and they will expect a payment after that they're not doing it out of the kindness of their heart although they say I'm not a guide here I work in the gardens here I've worked here for 30 years so yeah just be aware of that I think just if you don't want photos taken or you don't want to pay someone to take photos just ignore those guys they are quite rude honestly and annoying and it was the same at TOT what kind of people also hackled us there so yeah that's just something you have to deal with but otherwise it was amazing and highly recommend you have to come and see one of the wonders of the world it's just fruit it's amazing for a little bit of history, this was actually built in 1632 as a testament to the late uh, Mughal king's wife that passed away during her 14th childbirth. Um, it was his favorite wife, so he decided he's going to build this entire Taj Mahal in her memory and have her entombed right in the middle. And when he died 40 years later, he was entombed next to her. And that is the only thing that is not symmetrical in this entire compound. They basically put his tomb right next to her, so there's two tombs, so he's slightly off center. That kind of screws with Cleary's OCD. Yeah, and I'm wondering also what Rhett is going to build for me because, like, this is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Got a tough task to beat this. I mean, there were even some special gems and pearls that have been taken out now, unfortunately, but th this entire place was like filled with gems and crazy, just <laughs> it's insane. I believe the maximum amount of time you can spend in here is about three hours on a busy day 
they will usher you out if you've been here for longer than that but otherwise I recommend you come at the same time we did really early and then just really enjoy the two three hours after sunrise there's a beautiful breeze it's not hot there's so many trees it's incredibly beautiful to just come and relax you can even just sit on these benches and just admire this magical magical place I only got three hours of sleep last night and if you know me I need about nine hours of sleep so yeah feeling pretty <laughs> tired it was so worth it though but yeah time to get some breakfast because I'm starving and we're also going to be checking out of our hostel and moving into a new one I think it's also a $25 place so yeah let's go check that out hey, you. Hey. Sure. Tired. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> Three hours of sleep. Eh? If you're looking for a really good place to have breakfast right after you visit the Taj Mahal, I recommend coming to Chia Taj View. I'll put a link to the cafe in the description so you can see where it is on Google. It's formerly known as Moon Terrace, but it's now Chia Taj View. We had a quick two hour sleep after the Taj Mahal and breakfast. Now we're going to attempt to walk down the road. To, with our bags to the next place we're staying at. No idea what it looks like, but we'll find out very soon. Okay. Walk anywhere around this area in Agra. You're gonna get asked a million times if you want rickshaw. Granted, they're very cheap. It's only like 50 or 100 rupees for a ride. So pretty much anywhere in Agra. But yeah, there's just tons of them asking you over and over and over and over. <laughs> These dudes are more aggro than the Holy Holy moly. Hello. I know I say I'm looking for the hotel. Yeah. Okay. I'm Claire and Red. Your reservation? Yes, uh to Your name? Claire. Welcome drinks. This is your child. Oh, thank you. That is for you. Yeah. Welcome, Chan. And you know, we are enjoying it. That's the most important thing. Oh, okay. Enjoying your life. At oh. least after one day when I'll be like 90. 90? Nah. 70. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about number, but I just want like, you know, that at least the last day of my life, I should like, you know, sit properly like this and having fun. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, not like you know, living my life like, oh God, take me up. <laughs> <laughs> I should say, God, one more day. Uh, uh, give me one more day. Give me one more day. Long. Tomorrow, Goa. <laughs> Tomorrow, Goa. Yeah. Luckily, you are in the original part of Agra. Okay. This is original Agra. People come to Agra, live in fancy hotels, go in Mercedes, BMW. Mm. Trust me, bro. You don't need to come to Agra. Mm -hmm. You know why? You can do that anywhere. You can do it in Vegas. Mm -hmm. You can do it in Delhi. You can do it everywhere. Luxury is everywhere. Yeah. You came to us because you need to see what is our life is about. Yeah. This is our life. This is how we do entertainment. Flying pigeons, <laughs> flying kites, how watching Taj Mahal in the morning, having some good chai. Beautiful. Oh. This is about us. Yeah. Old Agra people. Oh, I love it. So did you grow up in Agra? Yes ma'am. I born and brought up in Agra and this is the reason. It is my dream to do whatever I can. But we need to do it here only. Mm. Check your bathroom, that's the most important thing in a visit. Wow! Oh. Alternating light, did you see that? Yeah, it is like you know, when you go inside, you need oh. like 10 20 seconds to search the switch. Yeah, so you know, for 30 seconds, 20 seconds, this light automatically turns on. Brilliant! Yeah. Oh my goodness gracious me, 
Look at these Wi-Fi speeds. 90 up, 40 down. And it's in our room. On the bed. Yay! Finally Wi-Fi that works in the room! This is great. <laughs> This is Lucky Guest House, just 200 meters down from Joey's Hostel. We were staying in Joey's Hostel before. It's also $15 a night, and this one is also $15, but it's a guest house. It's a little more private, and the Wi-Fi is incredible. There's a restaurant on site, a rooftop bar area, and a little viewpoint, and it has views of the Taj Mahal as well. So this is a really good option. Two, they're both in the same street, so that's pretty cool. So the hostel you'll choose if you want to meet up with people. Just note that there's no Wi-Fi in the rooms. And this you'll stay at if you want more privacy and a good place to work at. Our room is so cozy, a nice bed, amazing air conditioner, a little workspace for it, TV, storage and the bathroom is great with really good lighting for makeup tali time tali time the first tali in india okay now yeah, first tali in india it's going to be a vegetable tali basically what a tali is is a bunch of different sauces and curries on one plate with chapati which is a roti and rice yeah. so it's a whole bunch of stuff you don't even have to choose you just get it on a plate and it's yeah and I got a banana lassi, which is actually really good. I think it's important to drink banana lassis because it's like made with curd, which has got a good probiotic. So when you get to a new country, try have some curd. It helps uh, get those natural uh, bacteria into your body straight away so that your stomach just copes with the food in the country. Lunch is finished. Stomach is full. This is a trend in India. We eat so well here. The meals were so affordable. Guys, I think it was 25 rand for that meal. And it was amazing not too spicy yeah I'm gonna finish up here head back to the room and work using that awesome Wi-Fi Ali <laughs> vegetable tali lovely <laughs> dinner right. time and I'm feeling ill so, orange juice it is. Again, this whole meal was like 200 rupees. And it's gonna feed us both the drinks and the meal. All right, well, that's gonna be the day. See you in the morning. We're off again, moving to a new room this morning. The owner here wants to show us his best and favorite room. Unfortunately, it wasn't available yesterday. So he's moving us to it today. We've also booked our tickets for Agrafort on the website. We weren't able to do it the first time around for the Taj Mahal, but I was able to get it working on the laptop. I'll just put the link to the website you go to down below to book those tickets. The Agrafort is 500 rupees per person, which is like- Bargain. 250 Rand for two people. That's pretty, good. pretty cheap. I've been in this air conditioned room the whole day. And as soon as I go here, the heat, dude. Oh my god. I can't. I'm going back in. It must be around 38 degrees, 40 degrees out there. It's like 100% humidity. That's insane. I don't think it's as, <laughs> I don't think it's as bad as the, the hostel. Namaste. 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 <laughs> ready to, root, to move to the. Yes, we are always ready to move. Okay. <laughs> okay good. <laughs> our train to Jaipur and the ILCTC account decided it's not going to work for us anymore so we've come to this little shop here and they're going to do it for us. It's so much easier if you just ask a local to help you because then you don't have to verify and have cell phone numbers and all these things so let's go. Our friends here are booking us a ticket. Oh, yeah. okay, thank, thank you so much. Thank you. We appreciate it.
missed the red fort in Delhi, but we weren't gonna miss Agra fort. This place is so impressive. It is massive. The walls are like 50 meters high. It's crazy and it's just amazing to just think how the old battles must have been carried out in this area. It's been so hard to breach these walls and to get into the palace where the old kings used to reside. Oh, it's the detailing for me though. Beautiful. I think we spoke about the price. It's actually really cheap to visit this place. And then we just took a, it was like 20 rand, about 100 rupees in the uh, rickshaw from our hotel to get you. It was just about a 10 minute drive, so it's really nearby. I highly recommend you make the mission to come and see Agrafort. Shah Jahun's palace right now, it is looking very much like the Taj Mahal with all the marble. Extremely beautiful to see. Lots of gems still in the walls. We just visited his famous prayer room where he- Oh, it's the most beautiful room in this whole place. Yeah. So that's every morning he'd wake up and it faces east straight to the Taj Mahal and if you don't know the history his wife was buried in the Taj Mahal first in uh, 1632 and basically every morning he'd wake up have a prayer and look at the Taj Mahal and shame he had to live about 45 years without his wife and then when he did die in that prayer room they just took him to the river and took him straight to the Taj Mahal and then buried him next to his wife. It's quite romantic. Yeah, so. Sad. Yeah. And he was actually a really cool king, from what we can tell, because he, he set up a justice bell, which anyone from any caste system, any background could ring the bell if they felt that justice wasn't being served fast enough. It was basically a way of the people being able to contact the king directly to solve their problems. So actually quite thoughtful and really something you don't really see from kings often. Gosh, it's quite the workout walking around this place. It is massive. It's much bigger than the Taj Mahal. It took eight years to build, which is half the time it took to build the Taj. It's pretty impressive, I must say. Apparently they used over 8,000 people to build this. Crazy. Our time in beautiful Agra has come to an end. We'll be getting on a train to Jaipur and staying at a five-star hotel in the next video. We'll see you then.